Coming to you live and direct from Pretzel's Palace. We're going to show you the finished product of the Skinner mask today that I've been uh, showing online here that I said I've, I've, I've been working on. Um, this is a Skinner mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, it was put out some years ago. As some of you probably already know, the Skinner mask was used by Alazui Lu in their beginnings for Head of Horns. They had took a Skinner mask and heavily modified it and basically turned it into the first forever face. I've heard that some people call it a .05. I'm not really sure about that. I'd have to ask Billy Joe Lee about that. Um, but uh, regardless, it's what I call the OG mask. Um, this is what they used in the beginning. And uh, now take it, I, I want to do a little disclaimer here uh, before we get into it. Is I do this for a hobby. Um, this mask is never going to be reproduced again. This mask is for my collection, my personal collection. Um, I've been painting for many, many years. I normally just do uh, fine modifications on things, you know, go in and do details because I'm a detail-oriented person. Um, but I decided to take on a bigger venture here and do a whole mask. Um, you know, and as I can show you here what it looked like in the beginning... Um, you know, I basically, I started and I stripped the mask and started from ground up with it. Um, it was, a, it was quite a daunting task. Uh, you know, I went online, I did my research on how to do the stuff and first and foremost, you got to have your tools and, uh, you know, you got your brushes, your paints. I got the, the blood there, but, uh, I didn't use no blood on this one. Um, you know, you got your sealers, all that stuff, alcohol. Uh, you gotta have tools if you plan on doing a mask like this, see? Uh, so that's what I did. I went out on Friday, picked up all the tools I was gonna need, prepped the mask on Friday, got up on Saturday, um, and I actually, uh, went to our Zooligan Horde commander, and I got the, basically, the, the blessing from him to do this, you know, because I didn't want to just copy their their stuff, you know, and just be like, hey, you know, here's my thing. But uh, yeah, the uh, the Zulugan Horde commander gave his okay on it, so I, I we went ahead with it, and uh, this is the product. Um, I call it the uh, Joe Black Witch OG mask uh, because I'm sure as y'all know that this is a design that has been on uh, hoodies, um, it's been on beanies. Uh, and also it was on a patch and so the idea that I got uh, that I took from was that OG patch that had come out and then uh, uh, also the uh, OG mask from Season of the Witch. Uh, you know it had yellows in it, uh, definitely the greens and things like that. So I tried to kind of stay faithful to it um, and uh, I came up with this. Got a little bit of yellow in the lip there. Um, it was quite the process, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I started on it Saturday morning. I probably worked nine hours on it yesterday. And I got up this morning and kind of finished it off. Uh, so, you know, it took me a good weekend to, to do this. Uh, to get this done. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. You know, I could have... I could do a little bit different on it, a little bit different shading going in different areas on the neck right here. You know, I got to go in and kind of fix that up a little bit. But overall, I was very happy with the product, how it came out. Um, and it's going to be sitting in my collection of my other Forever Faces, which now, uh, you know, with this OG mask, this technically puts me up to, to six. Um, let's see here. We got the 1.0. Which I went in and added just a little bit more gore to it. A uh, little bit of gray in it. Trying to give it more of a dirtier look. Because I like that dirty, grimy look. Um, around the neck. Definitely had to add some blood to it. Uh, my 2.0 bloody variant. Uh, haven't done much to it. Just went in and kind of sealed the blood on it. A uh, little bit of black on the stitching. whatnot, But not very much on that. Because that was... It come out fucking A1 from Astronomicon. And then we have Joe Black's Stage Worn. Uh, I guess we call this the Pumpkinhead variant. Uh, it's orange and blacks. 
haven't touched it, you know, can't do that. Dark Lord's mask. And then the horned. Uh, as you see, I just, I threw these cheap plastic horns on here. Uh, I may one day go in and add additional horns to it, you know, make it like a head of horns mask. I don't know. But I did uh, paint this one a little bit. I added just a little bit of red to it, a little bit of darker black, a um, little bit of blood to it. Not very much, though. I really like the horned one. And then we have the 1.1. Uh, the 1.1, I've added just a little bit to it, not very much, a little bit of blood. Uh, I may go back in with the perma blood in here in the crease and add a little bit to it. Uh, may add just a little bit more more white to it. I haven't really decided yet. But yeah, this is uh, this is my Forever Face collection here on this fine Sunday. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And praise Zool.